Today on Animal Fact Files, we'll be talking about flies. For more facts on animals, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Flies were suggested by SB's Animals. Thank you for the suggestion. All true flies belong to the Diptera order. The name of this order means two wings, which makes a lot of sense considering how true flies have evolved. Flies are just about the only insects that have a single pair of wings. Most other insects possess two pairs. Over time, fly ancestors developed a strong front set of wings while the back set became a club-like structure which no longer functioned as wings. Today we call these club-like structures halteres, and they may aid in fly aerodynamics. Usually, when looking at common names of flies, true fly names are formed by two words such as bot flies, house flies, and deer flies. Animals that have fly in their name but are not true flies are usually named with single words such as dragonflies, butterflies, and stoneflies. Of course, trying to remember all the true flies would be pretty difficult as they are one of the largest orders of insects, and there are guessed to be more than 100,000 kinds of flies all over the world. Insects from the Diptera order can be found on every continent in the world, including Antarctica, though their numbers there are limited to three species, of which only two are naturally occurring and all of whom are found in the warmest parts of the land, aka near the ocean. While some species of flies are found in places we would expect, such as forests, wetlands, jungles, and even our own homes, others live in extreme environments like hot springs at 112 degrees Fahrenheit or crude oil pools. Plus, when thinking about flies, many of us may only consider the adult form, but in truth, flies undergo complete metamorphosis, with their egg, larval, and pupal stages potentially, and even typically, living in habitats separate from their adult forms. Fly eggs are laid by adults in most species, though some are not laid as eggs and develop to later stages within the female fly. Depending on the species, the female will lay anywhere from 1 to 100 or more eggs. These may be placed into the flesh of a mammal, dung, soil, flowers, or even onto other flies. After a development period of about a day, the larvae emerge and thus begins the great eating frenzy. Most flies consume the largest portions of their diet when in the larval stage, with some adult forms eating nothing at all. All flies in the larval stage lack legs, and they will eat just about anything. Plant matter, organic matter, feces, flesh, and garbage are all on the menu. In fact, it's this stage of the fly's life cycle on which we have depended for the cleaning of wounds. After about a month has passed, the fly will enter its third stage of metamorphosis as a pupa where it develops a hard outer shell. About one week later, the adult fly emerges who may live barely more than a week to well over a few months. Of course, these times all vary depending on the species, but at least that gives you an idea of the fly life cycle. It should be noted here that mosquitoes, believe it or not, are actually flies, and thus it can be said that the order of flies has caused some pretty major mishaps in human history. The aforementioned mosquito is a vector for malaria, or basically acts as a means of transmission of the disease. And even common house flies can be dangerous because they'll just as soon land on some bacteria-covered garbage as they will your face. To be fair though, flies can also be beneficial. Some midge flies are the sole reason we have chocolate, as they seem to be the only pollinators of the cacao trees from which chocolate is produced. They also help in our gardens by consuming pets. And even what some might consider the most annoying, the mosquito, is part of a food web that ensures many fish have enough to eat. Love flies or hate them, they do play an important role in our environment. Most people likely associate flies with the common house fly who looks like this. But, considering mosquitoes are also flies, I'm sure you can guess the way they look can really vary. Some may look like this, or even this, or this, I guess. Plus, they come in a vast array of colors. What it boils down to is that they must have two wings and halters present. Some of the smallest can be one millimeter in length, while others can reach more than seven centimeters. Some people believe that flies are a menace. Others think they're a symbol of prosperity through hard work. Still more, just find them annoying, and heck, the ancient Egyptians bestowed pendants in their shape to represent bravery. So what do you think when you see a fly? For more facts on flies, be sure to check out the links in the description. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time on Animal Facts.